Hi, my name is Samuel Kotter. I'm senior manager in the product management team for Linux and Virtualization at Oracle. And today I'm going to give you a brief overview of Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager, so the new management solution, the new enterprise management solution for KVM hypervisor that we built at Oracle. Uh, we just we, we announced it uh, around one year ago the first release of Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. We just announced it, the updated release of Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager 4.3, and I'm going to give you uh, a quick overview uh, related to all the features and the enhancement that we now support on Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. Here, a, a quick overview of the Oracle Linux virtualization solution. Uh, as you can imagine, on, on, on a server virtualization solution, we have the compute side and the management side. The compute side, we have Oracle Linux KVM. Um, so, Oracle Linux 7 with the Unbreakable Enterprise Kernel Release 5 and KVM hypervisor. For the management side, as already said, we have Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager is built starting from an open source project named Overt. Uh, but at the same time, it's development, developed, uh, tested, and, and supported by Oracle. Uh, it's part of the Oracle Linux Premium Support subscription, uh, but the important thing to know is that uh, the support is optional. So you can always download, use, and update for free this kind of solution. And here we have some of the features that where we introduced the support for Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager 4.3 release, like for example, the self-hosted engine. So the option to run uh, the management solution, Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager, as a virtual machine running on the cluster that it manages. Um, we introduced the support for the cluster storage. Cluster is another component that is part of Oracle Linux ecosystem. And now you also have the option to manage cluster storage by the same Oracle Linux virtualization manager web interface. We introduced the support for build B2B2. Build B2B is, is another open source project uh, that has the great capability to automate the migration from other hypervisors to Oracle Linux KVM. Uh, we introduced the support for Oracle Linux 8 running as a VM on top of, of Oracle Linux KVM, as well as the support also for SUSE Enterprise Linux 12 and 15. So we work it together we, uh, with uh, uh, SUSE uh, to get those uh, operating system releases also uh, certified and supported to run on top of Oracle Linux KVM. Uh, uh, latest but not least, uh, we introduced the support for Oracle Database Release 12C, R1, and 18C. 19C support was already there. Here, um, a very quick overview of the architecture. Uh, at the end, you, you have the Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager, so one unique interface. Uh, at the web interface, you also have access to REST API and API uh, for Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. Uh, by this interface, you can manage uh, Oracle Linux KVM based on Oracle Linux 7 and UEK 5. And on top of those, you can run uh, the Enterprise Linux 5, 6, 7, and 8 distribution, as well as SUSE Enterprise, as well as uh, Microsoft Windows desktop and server releases. Uh, a quick mention around the Microsoft Windows. Um, at Oracle, we build uh, virtual drivers for Microsoft Windows, and those drivers uh, are uh, have been also certified by Microsoft. That at the end means that you can run uh, Microsoft Windows on top of Oracle Linux KVM supported by Microsoft itself. Another great feature uh, that I would like to mention before a dipping dive into a real demo environment is related to the templates that we have for Oracle Linux KVM. Uh, today we have a, a dedicated template, Oracle Linux 7 Update 7. We are going also to work on an updated uh, templates for, for uh, Oracle Linux KVM, for example, uh, the Oracle Linux 7 Update 8, Oracle Linux 8 template. Uh, yeah, the important thing to know related to those templates is that those give you really uh, a great opportunity to automate the deployment of your services on top of Oracle Linux KVM. Uh, by clouding it, that today is the de facto standard uh, for automation uh, around private and pu public cloud solution. Uh, you can automate the deployment and the configuration of your virtual machines running on top of Oracle Linux KVM. You have a huge list of configuration options, and maybe 
The most important one is related to the custom script. So at the end of the first boot of your virtual machine, you always have the opportunity to execute custom commands and custom scripts. What does it mean? It means that you can even think to automate, to possibly automate the deployment of your own application or your own environment, or you can apply the standardization that you have um, in your company. Let's now move to, to the demo environment of Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the capabilities of the product. So, uh, first of all, this is the login page. Um, as you can see here, we have the release of Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. We have two different types of portals, the administration one, uh, where the cloud administrators can manage the entire infrastructure, and the VM portal. VM portal is really uh, dedicated to cloud users, cloud consumers, let's call them consumers, because those are going to consume the resources available. Uh, let's log in to the administration portal. Yeah, and the first thing that I want to share with you is related to the dashboard. We have a great dashboard on our Linux Virtualization Manager that can give you a great overview and a complete overview of the entire architecture. As you can see from here, you, you can check the status of different resources, like for example, your data center, your host, even your VMs and the cluster storage, if you're leveraging cluster. You can even evaluate the global utilization of resources like CPU, memory and storage. Um, and you can also check by the events, you can also check all the operations that have been executed on, on Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. Let's now start with the compute. Um, on the compute menu, you, you get access to different subsections. With, between them, we have the concept of data center, clusters, hosts, virtual machines, and templates. Uh, I'm going to deep dive into the host. So now here, I have a cluster of three different uh, Oracle Linux KDF servers. As you can see, we have uh, a couple of logos uh, near each of the servers. Uh, and this one, uh, it, it sent me that an update is available for this physical server. And this crown indicates which server is now guesting the Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. So here I'm running the hosted engine. So again, the opportunity to run the Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager as a VM on the cluster that it managed. Uh, and this gold crown uh, says me that Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager is running on this specific physical server. The silver crown indicates that this server can guess the uh, hosted engine, and so my Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager instance. Now let's move to the virtual machine sections. Uh, between the list of virtual machine, obviously, I can see my hosted engine. And again, this kind of icon uh, indicates me that uh, this is the hosted engine VM. So this is the VM where my Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager instance is running. Um, that said, the as you can see from, from, from this web interface, I immediately get access, for example, to resource utilization of each VM, like memory, CPU, and network. Uh, but uh, the cool point is really the management of those VMs. Uh, by clicking on a specific VM, I have, for example, the opportunity and the option to create a snapshot for my VM. Uh, and the VM can be a consistent one, even, the VM, even if the VM is still running. Uh, and everything can be done by the web interface. It's very easy, very easy, very intuitive. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, my snap now is there. I have a snapshot for my VM. Um, and, and, and when the snapshot is completed, I can get access to details of the same. Like for example, by this icon, I can see that this snapshot contains memory. So it's a snapshot that has been taken while my VM was running. But the important thing to know is that by an existing snapshot like this one, I have the option to clone 
and create, for example, another virtual machine. Or I, or I have the option to make a template, so create a new template that can then be leveraged as a base for other virtual machines. That said, there are also other aspects that have to be taken under consideration for uh, the, the Oracle Linux virtualization solution. The first one is related to the rapid application deployment. Uh, even for this full Oracle software stack. Uh, by leveraging the, the Oracle Linux template, you can even think to automate the deployment of Oracle products on your top. Another another point is related to the zero downtime security patching that we have at Oracle by case price. Case price can be used, installed and implemented on Oracle Linux KVM, on Oracle Linux uh, virtualization manager, as well as on all the virtual machines on your top. Uh, another cool option that you have available is the Oracle Enterprise Manager uh, 13.4 integration where uh, at the end you will have the opportunity to have one unique pane of class management for Oracle Linux KVM, Oracle Linux, as well as all the Oracle programs running on top of your infrastructure. And last but not least, the Oracle Software Certification. All the Oracle software are today certified to run on top of Oracle Windows KVM.